Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be looking into your person. This is for anyone who is interested in someone, talking to someone in a relationship with someone. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Mars, or any other strong placement in Pisces. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you guys will stick around and hit subscribe, like this video, and interact with us. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. You guys can find a full list of the videos that I will be doing in the description box below if you want to see when they come out. All right, universe, what's going on with Pisces person? What are they thinking, feeling? We have four of earth. So right off the bat, I feel like this person is holding back for whatever reason. We have temptation here, which is the devil. Let's get more into temptation. This could mean a lot of things. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, since we do have the Pinnacles and Temptation here. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo. Universe, why is Temptation here? I feel like this person has a very strong urges when it comes to you. They feel the need to come towards you, and I feel like they want to. They're having to get up the courage and the strength to come towards you. I feel like it's a conversation that you guys are needing to have, but I feel like for whatever reason, they don't know if this conversation is going to work out in their favor. I did just see the Ten of Burdens, Ten of Burdens, the Ten of Wands, which means burdens in High Priestess. I feel like they have a lot on their shoulders and they're trying to use their intuition on coming in to you to get this off of their shoulders. We have Page of Air. They could be watching you, trying to figure out what the right time would be to come towards you at this point. Universe. We have the page of air for water here. You could also be dealing with a Leo, but I feel like they're trying to conquer this devil aspect of them. They do have a lot of inner conflict when it comes to this situation. They are losing sleep. I feel like they have a lot on their shoulders. I don't know if it's, a, I feel like it's a conversation you guys need to have. I'm not exactly sure what this conversation is about, but they have something that I feel like they need to tell you and they're not sure how to tell you and it's really, really bothering them. Really bothering them. I mean, they're losing sleep. They're in their head. They're anxious. Yeah, eight of air. They are their own worst enemy at their, this point. They don't see a way out. I just heard of the mess that they've made. Hanged man. They need to have a changed perception in whatever situation there is. This is, they're trying to figure out what to do. Whenever they come in, they're going to bring you an offer of love. So this is going to be like, you know I love you, right? Like, you know you're my only person. You know you're the one for me. They're going to build it up. Universe, what is this conversation about? Two of Earth, juggling. They could have been juggling you with someone else and they've made a decision with the Two of Earth being in reverse here. They could have juggled you in the past or have been juggling you and now they've made a decision or have decided to quit juggling you. Hermit, they have reflected. You could also be dealing with a Virgo at this point. Where did that card go? There it is. To a fire. I feel like a decision has been made. They've decided which direction they want to go in. Mm -hmm. 
There's going to be cycles. There's going to be things shifting, changing. So whatever the dynamic's been in this relationship in the past, I feel like it's going to completely change. Um, with the temptation here, it could have been a toxic situation. Especially, I feel like they put you in a negative situation. Which is why it's coming back on them. And they're like, hey, I love you. They're losing sleep. They're worried. I feel like they think that they're going to lose you at this point. Which is, I mean, it, it could be valid. They are watching you on social media. They they are scared that whatever offer they bring into you, you're not going to take. That you're truly over this situation as a whole. That you're over with them. We have five of water on the bottom. Complete sadness. This person could be crying. Crying over you. I just heard what goes around comes around. I mean. Tower. Something unexpected. King of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this could be you. You taking control of the situation and realizing you want to pull back. Which was completely sudden for this person and made it a tower moment for them. Let's grab those. Yeah, we have two of air in the reverse and six of earth. Two of air, usually upright, means a decision not wanting to be made. But I feel like this person has made a decision on who they want to put the work in with. But I feel like it also could be a little too late situation. Like, oh, you want to put the work in after you've done drug me through the grass, through the through everything. You've dragged you've drugged me through the damn ringer. Now you want to put the work in? Oh, okay. Yeah, three of water. They possibly could have put you in a third party situation, not necessarily. Um, but they're hoping for celebration at the end of this. They're hoping to get their way. They're hoping to for it to work out in their benefit. Yeah, we have the star. They're wishing and they're hoping. Emperor, king of water. They're going to take control of the situation and express their emotions towards you. This could be an Aries or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but not necessarily. This just means that they're going to take control of the situation and come straight for you. And they're hoping and praying and really wishing that this is going to work in their benefit. You know, I was thinking, I'm surprised the magician ain't come out because I feel like they're manifesting you and I'll be damned. I turn a card over and it's the magician. I truly feel like this person is manifesting the outcome that they want with you. Yeah, six of water. This could definitely be a ex, someone of the past. I did say when we started this, someone you're talking to, a boyfriend, girlfriend, something like that. It could be an ex, guys. Um... Or it could be somebody that you're in a relationship with that who, who has drug you through the damn ring or who's put you through hell. And this is just kind of, now it's like you have the choice on what direction you want this to go. When I picked up the deck, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I do get that vibe. We didn't get the eight of wands, but I feel like you are going to have some sort of communication with this person and they're finally going to express those emotions you guys are going to have that conversation that i feel like you've been needing to have for a long time i feel like um with the patience here in reverse too i get the feeling that you've been patient long enough and you're done being patient you're done you're like you know what i've been patient i've done more than enough i'm done Again, heart-to-heart -heart conversation come out. So, apparently, it's meant for this reading, especially. There is going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation happening for you guys. And we have keep an open mind. So, right now, you could be thinking, oh, okay, they come in this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I'm going to tell them, ha, no. But if they come in, this is telling you, maybe go have a drink with them. Keep an open mind on what they have to say and listen. Don't necessarily go in there saying, uh, no, I don't want to hear what you have to say. And then you can go home and think about it. Just keep an open mind. Anything's possible, guys. Just keep an open mind, okay? And then I turned over wedding. So you could end up reconciling with this person and marrying them eventually. We have peaceful resolution when I split the deck. So it is a possibility that you guys end up resolving this now that they know who they truly want. It might not be too late. 
All right, guys, go ahead and ask a question for this deck. This will tell you any question that you ask. It'll give you an answer. It can give you a direct answer like yes. It can give you a direct answer like you're not ready. No. It'll even give you one almost like hell no with an excl exclamation point. All right. Pisces is asking a question, universe. What do they need to know? Please answer Pisces question, universe. Two more shuffles. If one don't pop out, we'll pick. Pop out, not fall out. Okay, so we have ask help from others. We have within the next few months and no. So this could mean a lot of things. Ask help from others could just mean... What I'm getting is like ask advice from others, but don't necessarily take it to heart. So, run your situation by people. Ask their help, their advice. But remember to make your own decision at the end of the day. Someone could have asked a question, a direct question where you needed a yes or a no. You got a no for that. However that comes. And then within the next few months. I do feel like this person will be coming in within the next few months. I'm getting about two months. Give or take. Definitely getting two. Don't know where that number comes from. That's just what I heard in my head. All right, guys. I'm going to leave this here. I'll see you guys tomorrow.